Hey there guys, it's Rick Heathster here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews, and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today's video, we're gonna jump into, talk about some new products, and also announce our next head-to-head. -head. So recently we did a head-to-head -head with the Air Vittoria Avenger and the Gauntlet 2 in 25 caliber. I now have them both in 22 caliber. I know you guys really wanted to see how that was gonna play out, so that we're gonna have a whole series on these two guns. We're gonna open them up today, take a look at them. Uh, I really haven't done anything with these yet other than maybe open the boxes, make sure the guns were in there. The other thing we're gonna talk about today is this new Hawk scope. This is the Air Max 30 wide angle side focus. So this is a, a scope that they've designed pretty much specifically for air gunners, although it can be used on firearms as well. But this is a brand new optic from them. So we're gonna take this out. And actually I'm gonna use this scope on both of these guns uh, when we do our head to head. So that's gonna be kind of cool. How we make that work, I only got one of the scopes. So we'll probably have to do one video of this one and then one video of that one and then put the two together with a, with a summary. But we'll work that out, we'll, we'll figure it out. The other thing I have, which is kind of cool, it's kind of a diagnostic tool, right? So how do you know if your barrel's dirty or how do you know if it's time to clean your barrel? How do you know if your barrel's messed up? Well, a bore scope, is a really handy tool and most recently on a live show I introduced this product this is from Teslong it's not very expensive we're talking a little over hundred dollars or so for an HD it does photos and video in high definition of your barrel so we're gonna check out the barrels on both of these guns as they are out of the box haven't haven't looked at them yet so this ought to be pretty interesting let's get started okay so first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at our optic here. Uh, this is again, brand new from Hawk. Come on out of there. I haven't even opened up a box yet. Okay. All right, so uh, the Air Max line is basically an air gunner line. It is a higher end than the Vantage. Uh, it's a little bit lower than say, the definitely lower than the Frontier and Sidewinder. Maybe somewhat on par with the Endurance. I'm not quite sure how their, their tier system works, but it's definitely a step up from the Vantage. So it, I know it's gonna have a 30 mil um, tube. Uh, this particular model is the um, six to 24. So I think for the work we're gonna be doing with these two rifles, it's gonna be ideal. All right, let's see what we got for turrets here. Okay, we have our standard just click turrets and it looks like if you wanted to zero your turrets, which I know you can, um, you can loosen this cap, rotate it, set it, and there's a little slot there where you can actually set your zero and count your clicks if that's what you like doing. This particular model, I don't know, where's the box? Yes, this is not a first focal plane, this particular model here. Let's just take a quick peek out the door. Yeah, it's got your standard AMX reticle, six to 24, just a really nice scope, comes with the sunshade and comes with the large wheel as well. So I'll be curious to see if we can use the wheel on either of these rifles, a lot of times you can't, but you know, we'll see. We'll see if that's one advantage or another over the rifles, but we'll go ahead and use this scope for this test. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We'll talk more about this and all the features I'll make sure to get with Hawk and any of the particular technical stuff. We'll actually go through that when we take a look at these rifles. So go ahead and set this aside for now. And let's go ahead and unbox some air guns here. Okay, so first up, I've got the Avenger. Let's see, where's it open from? Right here. All right, so here we have the Woodstock and we've got our paperwork. Um, the guns come with a, with a similar complement of stuff. So we've got um, two magazines a single shot tray, some spare parts, and the rifle itself. I will say, oh, let me get this out of the way here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I will say that I appreciate the packaging here because this material does not break down like styrofoam does. It can just get, these things, especially recently, shipping has been horrible. And I've seen so many guns just getting destroyed in shipping. So I'm glad to see that they're packing this in a material that will hold up. This looks like it would ship pretty well. I do like the way they've packaged it. So I'm gonna leave the accessories in there and we'll just take it out of the box here. So again, we know this gun. This is simply the 22 caliber version. We've got two gauges. One's got 
uh, the pressure, the other has the reg pressure, one has the bottle pressure, one has the reg pressure. Um, we have a uh, fill port in the front here, we have our degassing and our regulator adjustment. So the sweet spot for this gun is for those guys that like to tinker, they like to set their gun up for particular pellets and they like to change that and do different things. This gun is really great for that. You also have the hammer adjustment here in the rear. So this gun for tinkerers is ideal. Now, that, you know, that's we're gonna start getting some variances here because we're gonna unbox the Gauntlet 2 now. So the Gauntlet 2, um, and a very similar price point, okay? So we're looking four to 450-ish, depending on where you buy them and when you buy them. Okay, so here we are with the Gauntlet 2. Again, uh, super special thank you to Umrex in the material they've chosen to use to protect the gun. Um, I'm glad to see them move away from styrofoam simply because it doesn't hold up in shipping. Again, we've got two magazines, we've got um, a degassing tool and a single shot tray. So all of the same things you get with that as far as accessories go, you get with this as well. Um, although the degassing there is a screw and here you have an actual tool used to, to degas the gun. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this out. Okay. Now, oh, okay, let's go ahead and get this out. So right away, we've got some pretty distinct differences. Synthetic wood, this has a bolt, this has a side lever. Um, the other big differences are this thing has a massive tank. So this is a, I think it's a 24 cubic inch 4,500 PSI regged, and I'm not sure what this is regged to. I'm gonna to have to look that up in the manual. Let's see if it has it here on the side. I can't tell. I can take it out of the stock and figure it out. You can do that. Oh, here it is. This one's regulated to 1,900 PSI. Okay, so if we're looking back in history, okay, the original 25 was regulated to 1,900. They took that up to 2,100. So now with the 22, they brought that to whatever it was up to 19. So this should get a lot of power, be able to drive heavier projectiles. I'm thinking we're gonna try and shoot some slugs. I actually have some different 22 cal slugs. So I know you guys really wanna see that. So I think that's gonna be worth testing out to see if either of these shoot slugs and at least the slugs I have see if they if it if either one shoots them well um, synthetic stock I like that personally it has M lock rails here or M lock channels where you can put uh, rails this comes with rails uh, comes with a rail here comes with a swivel or sling stud here so these guns are very very similar very comparable and what they provide the differences are the Avenger uh, is tunable where the gauntlet is just sort of what it is it's sort of turned up to 11 and hand it to you. Um, and that's gonna be, you know, what, what are you looking for? Personally, um, having done this, for, at least professionally, as, re, as a reviewer, um, almost 14 years now, I will tell you that me, once I've found where I want the gun, I just leave it. So I'm not a guy who tinkers with it after the fact. Um, so, uh, but that, that is, that is a, my segment of the market. I know that there are a ton of air gunners that love to tinker. So. It all depends on what you want to do. So I know this is going to get crazy high shot count. Um, I don't know what that's going to be yet. We're going to find that out, but that's going to be pretty cool to find out. One quick point here about the stock. We do have a, a port for a quick release here for, uh, for sling. Um, and then we have an adjustable cheek piece. So a couple little features that are slightly different than say the Avenger, but again, the Avenger actually has a front rail already and has uh, the swivel mount for the rear sling. So now what we need to do is take a look at the barrels. I, I've not done this before. So we'll flip a coin, see who goes first. I guess A before G. Let's do the Avenger. What I have here, again, this is the product company by Teslong. I'll put the links below if this is something you are interested in. It has, this is your camera. Um, they have different versions of this, but this is the one they sent me. And they have this module here, which is an HD screen and a camera that works via USB. So if I put this here, I'm gonna go ahead and mode is on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on video. Okay, so I'll put the, the video up. Okay, so we're gonna go past the, sh the shroud or the baffles and there's the barrel. So we can actually take a good look at the crown there. 
it's got a bit of a nick on it. Check that out. Okay, so again, this is just out of the box. But you see that little that little dent right there? That's interesting. Okay, let's go down in here. Now it's kind of hard to see. It may be because it's a 22. The focus is a little off. Let's see here. Okay, I guess we'll be able to compare the differences between this and the gauntlet here in a second. See if we have enough lens to get all the way out the other side. We do. Okay, so okay, so to me it looks like the whole rig could use a bit of a cleaning. Now I am a guy personally. I I shoot it. I don't worry about cleaning it. But looking at this, it may warrant some cleaning. So I have got a couple tips here that may give us a better image of that. So let me go grab those. A little bit of a learning curve here. But now we can clearly see the barrel. See, that doesn't look terrible to me. But I guess it's going to come down to how does it look as compared to, say, the gauntlet. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so we get an idea of what that looks like in there. Cord. All right, so we're just going to go straight down the center. Oh, theoretically. All right, all right. So let's take, first of all, it doesn't look like there's any crown on that. Interesting. No nick. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. Okay, so as we look here, Okay, we can see a little rust here, can't we? This is this part's hard. This this is not as clear as I'd like it to be here. Okay, so this doesn't look nearly as good to me as the Avenger. But it all could just shoot out and be fine. Okay, so we're at the end of our scope there. Let's take a look with our other adapter here. And we're going past the baffles. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so there's our there's our kind of rusty patches there, right? See that, that right there? See that is, I don't remember seeing that on the Avenger, but that is not great, is it? So yeah, that if we look at that groove right there, that is interesting. See that? Now I'm curious as to what it's gonna look like after we've shot a few hundred rounds through it, we'll probably pass a bore scope through it again. I think that just in and of itself would we'll just do that as a separate little video. But I think that would be kind of interesting. But you can see that is just, um, I would say that's not, that wasn't great there. Okay, see, that is some just, that's just kind of strange to me the way that looks. But hey, what do I know? I'm not an engineer.
All right, well, to me, guys, I will just say, first glance, um, just to out of the box, I mean, that, other than the damage to the crown, which I don't know if that's going to affect accuracy, I'm not going to touch either of these guns. I'm just going to shoot them. Um, if, if I go to clean it after the fact, I'll let you guys know, but I just want to shoot these out of the box. I mean, that's how most people are going to get them. That's what most people are going to do, and that's how I'm going to, you know, test them. Um, if I do anything different, I'll, of course, will tell you guys. Um, I'm going to stop the recording. But that is very interesting. I think that when I'm looking at these right now, um, this, this, this is going to be a whole other whole other ball game when I go to put a scope on these to start putting some pellets down it to see what we just saw on that bore scope, what that equates to in performance or accuracy. And here's the cool thing. If it means absolutely nothing, that will be in and of itself something noteworthy. If there's something distinct between the two guns, um, we're going to know it. I think that is very cool. It adds another element that we can take a look and see how these guns are going to perform. Guys, that's going to be it for now. We've taken a look at a new scope from Hawk. I've showed you guys this bore scope. Um, never having passed one down a small bore like this, not knowing what to expect. That is pretty cool. I mean, that is certainly a very affordable diagnostic tool that you could have in your in your shop to be able to check out a new gun. Do you need to clean it? Do you need to take a look at it? Is there something going on with it? Uh, that is pretty cool for, for so little money. And then you have a video record of it. That is that is pretty awesome. And then we've got these two great guns, uh, both the Avenger here, uh, the new Woodstock, and we've got the G2. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to get to this head-to-head -head over the next couple months. It's going to be a very, very fun project. My name is Rick Huster here with Airgun Web, your home for old-school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.